Hi everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. In today's video we are going to be decorating my kitchen for Easter and the first place we're going to start is my kitchen hutch. This is the big area that I decorate in my kitchen so I just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like before and now we're going to add some Easter touches to it and I really like how it turns out. So if you're excited about today's video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up but we are going to get started just by bringing my tote and putting it here on my kitchen table. I'm going to take everything out of there laid on the table so that I can see all of my decor and then we're going to get started decorating. If it goes up in flames I'll take the pain If I never try to get it I can just forget it I'm done playing the waiting game I'm so done I have already decorated my living room for Easter and what I did whenever I was decorating in there, I just put any of the decor that I didn't use back in this tote and stored it until I was ready to decorate for, uh, re decorate here in my kitchen. And so I'm just going to go through, like I said, and pull everything out. There are a few things I'm going to put back in here and save until I decorate my tiered tray, but it's just easier for me just to take it out, do one thing at a time and then store the rest of it until I'm ready to decorate the next area. Okay, so I've gone through the decorations that I have left in my little helpers down there. Can you say, hey, Rowdy? <laughs> um, so these are some items that I think I might use in my hutch. And the things that I knew I was going to use in my tiered tray, I went ahead and put back in my box. And sorry if you can hear Axel in there um, messing with something. But now I'm going to start playing around in my hutch and seeing what items I want to use in there. So this year I knew I wanted to add a little bit of Easter to every shelf and uh, I do have a few bigger pieces like bigger Ray Dunn pieces and one being the set of bowls and so I knew I wanted to put it back right where my everyday bowls sit. So that's what I'm starting with but I'll give you a close up of every shelf after I get done decorating and uh, pop me in if there's something specific I want to tell you about that shelf.
I tried to work around most of the Ray Dunn items that I already had in here because I didn't want to have to pull a lot out of my hutch. But there were a few pieces that had to come out just because there wasn't enough room. And then I just stored those in a little cabinet on the bottom of my hutch. And then after Easter, it's just easy to pull them back out from there and put them back. Um, but like I said, a few pieces did have to come out to make room for the Easter decor. These little peep egg holders are some of my favorite to pull out every year and I think they look really cute with these little buffalo check eggs popped in there. Just kind of pulls out all of the white and black items that I have in my hutch and uh, like I said it's always one of my favorites to pull out each year. I can feel there is somebody here And he's watching over me tonight As he takes away my fears Let's me know there's a heaven up there Yeah, he's reaching out his hand to me To wash away my tears Oh, oh I know you And I praise you Got my arms open for your love. I love this new bag of little Easter eggs that I picked up this year from Hobby Lobby. The little speckled effect is really cute. And I knew that I wanted to try to fill up this uh, little piece right here. And I think it worked out perfectly. Hallelujah. They sing hallelujah. I can see though my eyes are all closed Yeah, he gives me strength to carry on And always lets me know that I'm fine Just the way he made me Every perfect imperfection Is all because of him Oh, oh I know you And I praise you Got my arms open for your love Oh, oh, I want to be near you I, I know that these little pigs really aren't Easter decor, but they are new, and I knew I wanted to find a place for them in my hutch, so I moved some things around on this top shelf. I did add a little bunch of carrots to this little basket, and then I just put a little Easter egg on top of these pigs. Now going to this part of my kitchen, I'm just going to add a little cutting board or two little cutting boards and a little wood rabbit uh, to my little collection of cutting boards. I did this last year and I really like how it looks.
I'm just adding a few touches to my coffee bar. I'm going to be using my good egg canister and putting my sweet and low packets in there. And then I also have two Ray Dunn coffee mugs. One says good egg and the other says bad egg. I think they're really cute. So I'm just going to take off two that I have on my little coffee stand and put my Easter ones um, on there as well. Takes away my fears. Oh, oh, I know you, and I praise you. Got my arms open for your love. Oh, oh, I want to be near you. I hear angels from above. They sing. They sing hallelujah I was lost, I was lost without any direction Had a line so many times but I needed attention No matter I got this cute little uh, gingham black and white checkered bunny garland at Hobby Lobby last year and I'm just going to drape it in front of my hutch and I'm going to give you another overview of how all of my hutch turned out for Easter and I really like this black and white color. I think it's really cute and just really ties in with all of my Ray Dunn items. tried yeah to become better but i thought again if i said it it'll last forever i know i make mistakes it's just the way i am that's why you have to know yeah there's not a part of me that wants to say no to this little stool by my hutch, I'm just adding this cute little Happy Easter sign with the three little bunnies on there just to give this area a little festive touch too. And then I decided to go back to my hutch and add one more little piece and I'm just going to add this little Easter sign and bunny up here to the top. Alright friends, so that is going to be the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoy coming along and decorating my kitchen with me for Easter. I love how my hutch turned out and the few other areas that we decorated. Make sure that you come back and watch my next video. I'm going to be styling my tiered tray. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And I'll see you in the very next one, friends. Bye!